Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this glittery, smoky eye look. It is Christmas inspired. I asked on my Instagram what colors you wanted me to work with more, and it was either Christmas colors and warm tone colors, and the warm tones got more votes, which I'm kind of glad because I feel like we all have a palette with the browns and the darks and all that stuff rather than like a full on colorful rainbow palette. So it's a little bit fair and easy for everyone. So, this look is like a full on glam to me. It's a little bit more extra than I would do. Would I do this on Christmas? No, <laughs> just because, girl, I'm gonna be in my living room with just my family. Like, I'm not gonna be that extra, but I'm being extra for the gram, you know? In this video, I am gonna give you guys a lot of good tips. So, get a pen, get a notepad, get some popcorn, some Valentina sauce, some hot fries, your favorite snack sit back and relax and I hope you guys just enjoy this tutorial and I just want to put it out there my hair is not working with me today you guys so please just bear with me throughout this video because it is not curt but okay let's do this all right guys so you already know I like to start off with the eyes just for in case like any fallout because we will have fallout with this look um so again just prepping the eye with my P. Louise eye base this is a Morphe M224 and like always, I'm just underlining my brows so it looks nice and clean when we fill it in later. And we're just really going to pack this on all over, all over the lid, make sure everything's nice and smooth. Um, because we are going to be using really bold colors. We really want a nice, smooth base so they all blend how we want them to. And again, just so the colors really pop out since we're going to be using kind of like darks and the greens and all that stuff. So just making sure this is nice and even all over the lid. And now I'm just smoothing out the base with my Morphe sponge again so everything's just nice and smooth. Okay, so for this whole look, I did use nothing, pretty much nothing but the Morphe uh, 350M palette. Um, the only color I didn't use from here was for the lid. We're using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, the little green shimmery shade at the bottom row. But for the whole thing, we're mainly going to stick to this baby right here. And to start off, I'm going to pick up this shade right here on a Morphe M532. I think I mentioned this in my previous video, but I absolutely love this brush. I feel like it just speeds up the process a little bit more for me and really buffs in my transition shade or any color that I'm using on the crease. Um, again, this is the Morphe 35, um, more, sorry, Morphe 532 brush. It is amazing. It's so good that I had to get two more um, when I was working there because it's just so nice. I love it. Now with this color, I am packing it all over the lid. This look is going to get a little messy. We're going to have, I had a lot of fallout and of course my camera is blurring out. Anyways. With this look, there is going to be a lot of fallout. I really packed on all these colors. I really want the cut crease to be nice and sharp. So again, I'm not being like too perfect and trying to mainly like focus out just on one section. Uh, as you can see, I'm already getting it on the lid, which is totally fine because we're going to use concealer later and that's just going to wipe it all away. So don't even worry and don't try to be like too precise. I totally understand it. I used to be that way too. I'm like, no, I'm getting it all over. It's getting messy. It's okay. Pack that color on, girl. Don't be afraid of the product. You just pack on and then just make sure you're just buffing, blending, whatever you want to, whichever word you want to say. As long as you're buffing it out, then that's all what matters. Like I'm just con constantly kind of packing it on and then just buffing outward because later I'm going to grab a wipey and kind of just clean it off just like I did on this side. Okay, for the next shade, we're going to take this one right here on a Morphe 5. 14, yeah, 514. I'm trying to memorize, memorize all these brushes by heart because you know it's hard. And this, and that, 500, 300, 217, 211, 224. Oh my god, it's like just name them like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10. <laughs> and with this color, I'm keeping it a little lower, a lot of back and forth circle motions just to define the crease a little bit more. And then just again, I'm I'm packing on all these colors on, so I'm going to go back in my palette, place it, kind of tap it in my inner corner, and then just circle motion back and forth. 
This is also one of my favorite brushes, the M514. It's really good when it comes to like blending. If you are starting off in the makeup, you don't know which brushes to get, I would honestly say get one this one. This is just your basic good little blending brush, especially if you're working with like two or three different colors. This is really gonna help those two meet and provide that blending that you want. I really like it. I have three of these and they just get the job done. Next, I'm gonna pick up this dark brown color right here on a crown brush. This is, this is the C511. And what I'm doing is I'm picking it up right on the tip of the brush. And this is gonna be mainly um, still in our, in our inner crease and on the outer corner. So I'm just gonna pat it in my outer corner and then very lightly right between the inner corner and almost like on the lid a little bit again we're gonna use that concealer this is gonna help just define it a little bit more let me get look more intense more sharp more clean you wanted to cut someone you know just kidding so again just patting it into my outer corner and then with the tip again I'm keeping it more if you can see I'm keeping it a little my brush a little bit more lower rather than like this because if I do this I feel like it's gonna get everywhere and it's gonna diffuse everything that I just worked on so again just patting it like keeping it a little low diagonally of it and just slightly small little baby circle motions and just intensifying this look a little bit more. I'm being very gentle, I'm not being so fast. Again, we're just defining it and smoking it up just a little bit more. And then just for safety purposes, I'm taking that second brush I used, the Morphe 514, and I'm just, with no extra product, I'm just going back and blending that dark brown in the second shade we used earlier just to make sure they're blending. It's just another step and a habit of mine. All right, guys, now I'm going to take a any black eyeshadow. Mine's going to be from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. And this is another Morphe 514. This one's kind of new, so it's still a little slim from the top. The other, my other ones are a little bit more fluffier. So I'm picking it, this up right at the tip of the brush. And we're placing, well, we're actually almost repeating the same steps we did with the dark brown, just keeping my pressure a little bit lighter. So just tapping on the outer corner, lightly flicking outwards. And I'm taking it to the crease, but I'm just being very gentle on it. Very, very gentle. Nothing too crazy. Just because I don't want it to get too high up. I'm just kind of looking downward. And what that does is it helps me really get in this inner crease. And this is what puts the cherry on top to the cut crease. It defines it, makes it look 10 times more sharp. And that's what we want, you know? Okay, and now that I feel like I got all the black eyeshadow that was on the brush onto the eyes, now I'm being a little bit more faster and just doing small back and forth baby strokes. My pressure is really light. If you guys can see, I'm keeping my hand almost all the way towards the back of the brush because if I do it too close, I'm being too harsh and it's going to spread and it's going to look really, really off, a little bit too dark. Um, it's gonna, you're going to lose all the color that we have applied before. So just keeping this very gentle. Like it's a light pressure, small baby strokes, and then that's going to provide that gradient effect that we want. All right, guys, for the cut crease, I'm going to use a Morphe 508 brush. I actually used a different brush for cut creases. I have no idea where I, where it went. It was amazing. It was, it's those brushes I bought at a nail supply store. Excuse me. And it's the brushes they use, the nail technicians use when they apply, like, um, when you get a white tip. It was like a little small flat brush. It is awesome for a cut crease, like a holy grail brush. I don't know if I lost it. I don't know I don't know where I lost it, if I was traveling or something, cleaning my room. I have no idea where it's at, and I'm pretty upset because it is just so good. Um, but in the meantime, I've been using the Morphe 508, which is pretty good. But I'm just used to the other one. I think it's a little bit more precise to me. So if I find a picture of it, I will leave it down below in the description so you guys know what I'm talking about and you can get yourself one too. I'm telling you, it is amazing. But in the meantime, we're just going to use this. And uh, um, I didn't say it, but I'm going to use a sh Sharpie. <laughs> I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. That's what I meant to say. Shape Tape Concealer. <laughs> 
So I usually used to place it on the back of my hand. Actually, I'm just gonna place it on the back of my hand. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna load my brush with that concealer on both sides. And this will create a razor sharp brush. So and that's where we'll leave it nice and clean, what we're trying to go for. So again, just load your brush on both sides. And then now you're ready to do that cut crease. So again, I guess because I'm a little bit more advanced, I don't have to do the stamping motion anymore, but I want to show you guys and hopefully this will help you because I wish I would have learned that a long time ago. It's much easier too. So what you're going to do is I always stop, start off in my inner corner and the way you do is press, just press, press, press. I'm being very gentle. I'm not being too fast. Just press, 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 press. And it kind of just already has a little like guide for you. And another thing, I don't know if you guys seen, I've seen a few like Instagram videos is a lot of people just like apply the concealer just like how I have it right now. And then they'll like look up and then I'll leave like a little mark and you think like, oh my God, I messed up. Actually use that as a guideline. That's kind of telling you where your cut crease should, um, should finish off. So mine's a little higher from where I applied it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that nice and even. So I'm taking more of my concealer and see it's all the way up here. So I'm gonna take it all the way up and then everything else will go on the lid. Still taking this a little higher. Gotta make sure they're both nice and even. And then I take a Morphe, oh, sorry, just kidding. It's a crown brush. It's the C510. There's nothing on it. It looks, it's dirty just because I used it on the other side, but it's a normal little flat brush. And this I'm gonna use to flick out that concealer. I'll kind of be harsh with it just because again, that tart shape tape concealer is pretty drying. So you gotta be kind of quick and just patting it. That way it doesn't have like a harsh finish. So for the lid, I didn't have the perfect green I was going for, so I kind of created it. I, for that, I used the Jaclyn and Morphe palette. I used this shimmery dark green color right here. I applied that first, and then I went over that with this green color from the Mar palette from ColourPop. I just kind of mixed those two. So again, I just started off with that one, and I went over it with the, the little light greener one in the... Color pop palette, and then I did spray some Max Fix Plus and my brush to make it a little bit more shimmery. So I'm starting off with that green color from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm going to place this all over the lid. When it comes right to the edge where the concealer finished off, I like to press and drag down because we want to prevent it from getting in our crease. So I like to press and drag down and drag down towards the lid. Spraying a little bit more Fix Plus on my brush and like I said, going in that ColourPop palette and picking up this little like lime green color and I'm really just gonna really pick that up on my brush and then just going over that other color we did and it's just gonna provide a nice brighter kind of Christmassy green that we want. Okay, now for glitter, what I did, I actually mixed two glitters together, kind of like I did with the eyeshadow, and this is from NYX. This is in number three. I thought I would say like green or something, but I guess it doesn't. This is zero three, and then, oh, sorry guys, this is the Bulk Glitters in G13. It's called Spell Binder Shine. Wow, I said it right. <laughs> But anyways, I grabbed one of my palettes and I actually mixed these two on here. So I just spr sprinkled a little bit of this on top, sprinkled a little bit of the other, grabbed my spatula and just mixed those two and I got like the perfect green. Just because this one's a little too, a little too dark and the other one's really too like light, really like a neon kind of green. It, literally it's the exact same thing like the eyeshadow. So I just mixed those two. I'm going to apply that with a... Oh, no, sorry, you should see how I have it set up here. This, yeah, we're not getting into that. I'm gonna apply that on a, another Morphe 521 brush. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of this NYX glitter primer on the back of my hand. I'm repeating the same step I did with my concealer, just because we don't want to get any glitter on the cut crease. So I'm gonna take it on both, actually just take it on one side, it's okay. Just take it on one side. And what I like to do when it comes to glitter, usually when I was first playing with it, I applied the primer, or the glitter primer all over, and I just packed on the glitter. I learned a faster, easier way, so what I like to do, I like to do it in sections. So I'll start off my inner corner, I'll pat, 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 and then I'll pick up a little bit more and put it right at the point of my brush, pat, pat, right where it finishes off. So I'll start in sections, really pack that primer on, I'll flip my brush to the other side, pick up the glitter. And really just press it in. Doing this step, I feel like it really packs on the glitter rather than having it kind of spread out and then have to apply more and then put, um, putting primer on one section and putting more glitter. It gets a little patchy. So this step just, again, I feel like it's a little bit more precise and just easier. So again, I'm taking the primer out the back of my hand. I'm doing it per section. I think it, I start off usually from the top and whatever's rest, I'll take it to, towards the bottom of the lid. Well, all over. I am kind of staying away from the outer corner though, because I don't want to get that primer too far out, or else it's going to be kind of hard to blend once we go over it with black. So as you can see, one eye is a little bit more darker than the other. I wanted to intensify it a little bit more just because we're going extra. I'm picking up a Morphe. Oh, this is the Jacqueline Hill collection. This is a JH40. I'm picking up that black eyeshadow we used earlier, keeping it on the very tip, tapping off whatever's the rest. And this is gonna go on our outer corner. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna I want to intensify the look a little bit more, also the cut crease. So I'm doing um, I'm taking the Jaclyn Hill Collection brush. This is JH40, and I'm going back with my black eyeshadow, and I picked it up very very lightly on the tip of my brush. This is why I like this one because it's tapered from the top, and this one's just gonna go right where the cut crease finished off. And I'm being just I picked up very little, y'all. I'm going like baby steps as I go. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more, but first I'm going to do this, this one first. I'm doing like feather-like strokes because I don't want to build it up too much. Now I'm going back with that Morphe 514 brush, and I'm picking up black this time. Again, keeping it on the point. This one, I'm being, yeah, I mean, I'm being a little bit more rough with it, but that's just because we're intensifying that outer corner. I'm not doing too much of blending. It's just mainly placing it in this corner, doing little circle motions in the same place, patting it kind of a little bit towards the glitter. That way it looks nice and smooth. And you already know what I like to do. I go, I like to go back with that second brush we used. And then we're just um, making sure it's blending like we want it to. <laughs> so with no extra product, I'm just going back and making sure everything's nice and blended. You know, we can't blend enough when it comes to makeup. I'm gonna coat my lashes with some mascara. This is from Benefit, the lash roller. Yep, roller, I'm sorry, roller lash. I'm, I usually use waterproof um, when I go out, but I'm just, after this, I'm just gonna take it off and shower and do laundry, so. Just so it's easier to come off for later. <laughs> All right, y'all, for lashes, I'm gonna use my Love Lashes from my girl Kim. If you guys haven't tried these lashes out, you need to. They are so beautiful, and these are the newest styles that came out. So this is my first time trying them. This is in the style No Amy, so let's see how this goes, and if you heard my brother sneeze, I am so sorry. Oh my gosh, these are so, oh my god, these are so pretty. 
Girl, I cannot deal. These lashes are freaking everything. And you can use my code, Jessica GLZ, for some coins off. Oh my god. Okay, let's cover our face. Well, my face, because it is not cute right now. So, I'm going to prime my skin with my Benefit Professional Primer. And also, again, mixing my two foundations, the Fenty Beauty and 230, and my Maybelline Super Stay Foundation and 220. So I'll pump up this one, and then a pump of the Fenty. The Fenty Beauty. And this is my Morphe sponge. This is the highlight and contour one. I like it better than the, um, I think it's Flawless Foundation sponge. This one's really nice, and I just love the texture of it. It's really soft and bouncy, I feel like. Like, squishy, I guess I should, should say. I love it. Applying my concealer. This is a Maybelline Adri Wine and Sand. I'm doing a, we are going to be doing some contouring today, so I'm about to look like a clown. <laughs> That's okay, though. Just trust the process, you know? I'm gonna use my Benefit Hula Contour Stick to contour. And for the nose contour, we're actually gonna use the NYX concealer. Now, if you wanna contour your nose, that's the concealer you use, cause man, it is, it's really nice, y'all. Placing this right on the side of my nose. This is in the color Nutmeg. And what I'm going to do to buff out the contour first, this is, I love this brush so much. I've just been recently using it to contour it with. This is the Morphe E8, E as an elephant, by the way. And I just, one, I kind of play with them. So like I said, I've barely started been using it. So I do a lot of circle motions to buff out that, that contour. And then I'll kind of press it into my skin. And I, I know it always looks different on camera, but in person it really looks nice and smooth, but the contour is still there. So it doesn't diffuse it or anything. So I kind of just, again, I'm playing with it. Like I like to tap it and I'll do like a circle motion to make sure I'm buffing upward. And then later we'll go in with bronzer and then just intensify the contour a little bit more. So what I like to do is I like to take the concealer not all the way down. What my instructor Eloy taught me in school was that normally I used to do it too. I would take my concealer and drag it all the way down. What that does is actually makes your nose look like longer. Um, so you take it about like a little past halfway, stopping like right here, and then you just buff outward. So it creates that illusion that we want. And I know it looks really intense and like orange right now with this concealer, but that's the whole point. So I'm kind of keeping it right where I applied it, still kind of sharp. We're going to go over it with a sponge anyway. So again, just keeping it not all, the way, not all the way up high and not all the way down low because again, we don't want that long no, nose effect. So just buffing outward. So it has that like shadow once we buff everything out. And with whatever's left, I like to take it right in between and like around the concealer I put on the button of my nose. So that way, it, when we're all done, it looks like a little, cute little, fine point nose that I want. So again, I know it looks really crazy. I used to use the Shape Tape Concealer for concealer, but like I mentioned earlier, it's really drying. Um, it dries really fast and you gotta be quick with it. So I only like to put like a dot of it on just to highlight a little bit more under my eyes. And I'm gonna set that with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So we're going to blend this concealer, really highlighting the face so we look alive and awake. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and I'll get to the nose in just a second. I'm going to start off blending the concealer that's on the bridge of my nose. Being it kind of soft, I don't want it to spread because then it'll defeat the purpose of the contour. Kind of lightly buff the concealer that was on the center. And since there's concealer on this side, I'm going to turn my brush very slightly and then just kind of press against that concealer we used to contour the nose. That way, again, just doesn't leave like harsh, dark lines down your nose. And like I said, I'm still learning myself, so 
hopefully this technique helps you guys a little bit better or if you know t techniques that could help me let me know because I still like I said I need it I'm still looking at like YouTube videos on how to contour I'm not the biggest expert on that yet but baby steps and practice makes perfect so I'm gonna go in with that second shade we used for that eyeshadow and while this is baking I'm gonna go ahead and start on the waterline just because like I said, the concealer is baking, so it's still kind of fresh and creamy. So what this does is just going to intensify the look a little bit more on the shadow. I usually do it afterwards when it's set, but since it's setting as we speak, I, again, I, the colors just look a ten times more bold. Yeah, I just feel like this does the job ten times better when you do it while it's baking. And if you do get any fallout, at least it's on the translucent powder. Um, just make sure you apply enough translucent powder, that way when you dust it off, it kind of picks it up away with that. Um, so a little trick I learned. Alright guys, I'm going to give it a few more minutes for it to bake. In the meantime, I'm going to do my brows off camera. If you guys would like to see a tutorial on that, let me know. You know I got you, but I'm going to step away real quick and do these brows real quick because yikes. Okay, we're gonna dust this away. And y'all, if y'all, you guys hear my family in the back, I am so sorry. I can't control them. I right, tell them to hush, but you know, my family's loud, so can't really help it. Huh? Now I am applying some bronzer. We're gonna intensify the contour and just again warming up the skin a little bit more. This is an opening app from ColourPop, and if you guys saw my Instagram story. These are so freaking pretty, you guys. Like, they're so sloughed on. The color variety of them are pretty. The formula is everything. They're just amazing. You guys have, have to try them. And if you want to try them, you can also use my discount code, JessicaG5. Now for blush, I'm going to take my Morphe blush palette. This is in 8W. And taking goals on my crown brush, this is the C522. I'm just giving the skin a little bit more of a color because we look pale. Mm. All right, well, this is my first time applying the Amrezy and Anastasia highlighter. This is my first time using it, so let's see. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> This is a Morphe 501. You guys know this is my favorite, ultimate, ultimate favorite highlighting brush. Is perfect, literally perfect. <laughs> yep, it is all the hype that people were talking about. It is so pretty. Holy crap! You will make the glowing gods happy with this. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, we're almost done with this look. I'm really just going to apply some mascara on my bottom lashes, put some eyeliner. Um, we'll do lips in a second. I wanted to share with you guys a little tip. If you get glitter on top, like on your crease, and you know how we really just wanted to focus it down on the lid, what you can do is you can grab it with your spoolie on your eyebrow brush, or you can grab any little mascara wand. You can probably take one from Ulta. Don't tell them I said that. And just go lightly and pick up that glitter. It won't mess it up or anything, it'll be so harsh either, but it picks up any glitter that fell out or if it's on your skin and you're like, crap, and you don't want to you know, mess up your makeup, just do this and it will pick it up right away. But alright guys, that wraps up today's video. I really hope you liked it. And if you recreate this, I know it was a lot of steps. I know, I completely get it. But I try to make it short as much as I could. But if you recreate it or get inspired by this, let me know. You know I'd love to see your work. I know you guys have them skills too. It's not just me, it's y'all too. I'd be seeing y'all flex on Instagram. Y'all got talent too. So. If you have any plans this weekend, please be safe and have fun. I have a... I have a really busy weekend, I have a lot of Christmas shopping still to do left, so wish me luck. But if you guys have any requests for me on any other video, let me know down below in the comments. And also don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. And other than that, I will see you in my next video. Bye!